Yo, what is up guys? It is Angel coming back at you with another awesome review. You know, they say good things come to those who wait. Well, that is not always the case. No, I'm just kidding. Um, probably pay like, a you know, a quarter less if I just waited, but I was so excited for this figure when I heard he was shipping overseas. I just had to jump the gun. Um, I got this from eBay, not gonna lie. Paid like an extra 20 bucks for it, plus shipping. But um, I also have this guy right here, which weighs like a pound and a half, scrap iron. So uh, if you like this review, go ahead and stay tuned. I'm gonna be having this uh, review coming up either today or in the next few days because I'd be grinding. But anyways, yeah, this guy is my probably my most anticipated figure of this year. I'm not gonna lie. I do love the military stuff, the G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, I had G.I. Joe figures as a kid, the little three inch figures, and I love Navy SEAL stuff, you know? Um, they don't make a lot of Navy SEAL looking action figures. I mean, they do, you know, more in the casual military outfit, uh, but not in like the scuba diving outfit. Like, I think this is dope. This is sick. This reminds me of the Call of Duty games I used to play every day as a kid. Uh, this is the front of the box for G.I. Joe classified Edward Lay. Leoloa? Leola? I don't even know. I hope I'm not butchering that name. Uh, AKA Torpedo. Um, the front here, the back, oh, the back, the side, and the other side. Sorry, I'm dyslexic or something. But let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's going on inside. All right, so here we have G.I. Joe classified torpedo, all locked and loaded, covered from head to toe. The dude is loaded with accessories. I mean, most every classified figure I've had has a bunch of accessories, but I don't, this dude is freaking loaded, man. He's got so much, it's kind of overwhelming, but it, it all looks fantastic on him. And I love that with the classified stuff, you can pretty much put every single thing on this uh i mean this particular figure but most every figure they have um going over accessories um yeah he's he's stacked he's got his little flippers on his feet um and then if you make your way up he has a little knife pouch on his right leg uh with a little black knife um as you can see right here um and then he has this awesome uh, what is this called? I don't even know. Is, is this a torpedo? Would you call that? No, a torpedo is a bomb. Um, you know exactly what it is. Like a, like a hook, or like a hunting thing. Jesus, I'm so bad with the names of guns. Excuse me for this. I will figure it out and I will put the name in this uh, video. 
And then um, he does have another rifle, which is really cool because not only is it a nice gun that has a magazine that you can take out, but you can put it on his backpack, which is right here. And you can just kind of put it in the bottom. It honestly doesn't, I mean, it hangs on there, but it's not secure. So don't just leave it on there and go play with it because you will drop it. And then yeah, his backpack, you make your way up. He has his scuba mask, which attaches to the backpack. So um, yeah. He, it is uh, it is a lot of stuff and it all looks fantastic on him and he looks fantastic he is so detailed so beautiful that head sculpt is immaculate I love the head sculpt it, it is very pretty it, you know it has a very highly detailed face which looks really good whoops dropping stuff um, let's see that he looks freaking sick. He looks dope and he looks like he's ready to battle. It's a good face. He's smug. Um, he looks like he's focused, but he also looks like he's ready to get in some combat. You know, he doesn't, it's not too neutral. You can see a little bit of emotion in there. So I love that. Um, fresh out the package, the dude moves flawlessly. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with that articulation and see how he moves. Yeah, for this portion, I pretty much took off everything because obviously it's gonna be a lot harder to play with him if he's covered in stuff. But um, he looks down, not too much. Uh, looks up, okay, not the best. I mean, imagine, you know, being in a wetsuit like this. It, it's definitely a little bit difficult to move, so I'm not too upset about it. Um, goes to the right, goes to the left, moves around very easily. My head does feel a little loose. But, you know, it's it's on there. It's not popping off. Um, shoulder goes up uh, about, yeah, 90 degrees, which is good enough for me. Um, he doesn't reach over that well. It does look have does look to have a butterfly joint, though. So it's good that it's there, at least. Rotation at the biceps. Double jointed pinless elbows. Fantastic movement from those. Um, rock side to side from the wrist. 360 degrees. Um... I didn't mention, but he does have this fantastic little radar on his wrist for some extra details, of course. Um, bends forward very well, bends back very well. I love how they have this and also the rocker or the, the joint at the lower uh, waist. So that's awesome. So that moves freaking fantastic. Um, drop down hips and the legs go up decently. Um, go to the side very well. He could do the splits pretty much. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, rotation at the upper thigh. Double jointed pinless knees. Um, rotation at the lower calf, which is cool because that isn't very necessary, but I love that it's there. Forward and backward and then ankle rocker. So yeah, this guy has an amazing articulation for, for what it is, of course. But uh, I think that for, you know, a character in a wetsuit, um, you don't imagine them moving so freely. Um, but I think that he moves fantastic for what it's worth. And I am just loving every bit of this figure. I mean, this is cool and it's uh, definitely exceeding my expectations. Expectations, I can't talk, I'm sorry guys. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what he looks like with some other figures and get some size comparisons going. Yeah, so I thought I'd start it off with a couple of G.I. Joe classifieds, of course, just so you could see what he looks like with those guys. Here we have the G.I. Joe classified Storm Shadow on the left, the classic version that we all know and love. And then on the right, we have the G.I. Joe classified Bat, probably my all time favorite G.I. Joe classified figure so far. So uh, yeah, <laughs> these guys look fantastic thanks to each other. And I, I definitely think they're killing it in the classified line. And then, of course, because I'm a huge Marvel fan, we have the Marvel Legends Captain America on the left. Looking good. You know, Hasbro scales their figures very well. And um, he's going to look good with all your six-inch stuff, if you ask me. And one of my favorite Marvel Legends, the symbiote suit Spider-Man on the right. And I, I, I think that he looks fantastic. He has that kind of normal human stature. You know, he looks athletic, but he doesn't look huge like um you know any superhero or anything he just looks like he's very fit and he looks like 
you know, um, a, a human being, which is what I like to see. And then for fun, we have the Jada Toys Fei Long on the left. And then of course I had to pull out the Jada Toys Ryu on the right, or Ryu, excuse my name pronunciation. But um, I do love all the six inch stuff and I think it's, it's looking fantastic next to each other. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to see all these fantastic figures come out. And I think that we live in a golden age for, for toys. I mean, you know, there's nothing more straightforward than that. We have fantastic action figures and they're coming out and I'm super happy to see all this stuff. Yeah, so at the end of the day, I think this figure is absolutely fantastic. I think it's worth every penny you're going to spend. I spent a little bit more. I got it overseas, wanted to get it sooner than later. And um, I, I still think it's worth even when I paid for it. But um, to be fair, I got multiple things. I got this guy as well. So stay tuned for that, uh, the scrap iron. I was gonna film him first, but I was more excited to open this guy. And um, not gonna lie, he definitely met my expectations, even exceeded them a little bit. I would say there is a little bit of QC issues, like the paint feels a little bit off in some places feels a little bit faded but for what it's worth $24.99 this is everything that I would want it to be and I am super happy um anyways I think for a rating I'm gonna give this guy a solid 9.7 out of 10 he is worth every penny he is fantastic he is beautiful he has a load of accessories um and you will not be disappointed and I think that if you've seen the renders and you've seen what he is and uh, you're expecting or you know what to expect kind of thing then this is going to meet your expectations at least anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy my content feel free to drop a like down below and comment letting me know what you think of this figure and uh, feel free to subscribe as well if you enjoy it but uh, I try to upload one to two times a month and I do appreciate all the time you guys take out of your day to watch my content. And I do appreciate you guys enjoying it and showing some love. Anyways, peace out and have a good day.